that was Nathaniel, wasn't it? Yes, sir. How can I be of assistance? Ah, we, uh, well, I just want to make sure that uh, everything is, is uh, as it should be. Um, uh, dinner is running a little bit late. Uh, no fault of your own. Uh, dark outside on the travel, but uh, just make sure that you uh, get the opportunity to uh, taste everything before uh, anyone else starts. It needs to be perfect. I you understand. understand? I understand perfectly, sir. Perfect. Yes, well, I'll be out of your way. Gentlemen. Did you right. happen to find water by any chance? I thought you did. You guys got it handled. Yes. Have you asked for? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Isn't this? Water? Is this not water? Am I crazy? Yeah. That is. That's what I thought. So milk. What I need you guys to do? All right. Take the bowls. Because when this comes out, we want to serve it to them immediately. Take the bowls and line it up on that bench over there. He's uh. <clears throat> He's asked me to taste everything to make sure it seems okay. By all means, go ahead, taste it. Please do. It is a... It is a beef stew with a red wine sauce, and carrots dished in the side. And then we have a citrus steamed cod alongside of a house salad. But the salad obviously isn't. Yeah, tastes fine to me. We also have a um, a big serving of vegetable stew. I see. We have the bowls and side plates for the salad ready. Up, oh, up. Oh. We have achieved water. Yes, we have. Watch out. We might need one more one than uh, than just that, though. So I guess we'll dish out the beef. Oh, excuse me. It has three uses. Yes, three uses. I didn't think cooking involves so much praying. You'd be surprised. The invitation? Yeah. Uh, we'll need like two more buckets of water if possible. Oh my god. Or probably more like three. Yeah, more like three. It had three uses. <clears throat> yeah, but you only get to. Per meat, it's only. If you use a meat or a vegetable, it takes away one of those uses, so we can only do it three times. Oh, oh the bucket I found. Here we are. I'm gonna take these. And that's over here. There it is. Lads, could you grab that bucket over there? Them in there. We have one more use inside there. 
Good evening, sir. Pour the water. How go the preparations? Finishing up now, I think sir. We're about done, sir. Ah, fantastic. Ah, the lady has asked me to give you the aid of my hands if you have needed them to bring the food out. Uh, are we ready to serve? We might need your help. Ah, uh, yes, we are. So, there are three meat stews. There are two vegetables. There are three, ah, uh, tomato soups and a side of grilled garlic bread. Not the cheese on top. I am uh, not one to stand in the way of your preparation, but I might recommend that you stage some of this food right outside the dining area so it can be brought on request. Uh, some of the small Would tables out there might be perfect. Yes. I'll do what I can to aid you, gentlemen. <clears throat> grab a couple of these soups. What's the, uh, what are we starting with? We'll start with the uh, tomato soup. Okay, we'll put everything in a staging room close by then, and uh, we'll put the soup out on the table. Yes, soup out on the table with the bread. Then we'll go vegetable, and then we'll go finish off hearty meal with that. What are we considering staging it? Gentlemen, I would recommend using any of these small tables around here, something out of the sight of the lady. Over here. Yes, very and I, I would not rob you your uh, opportunity for service, so if one of you wants to take these soups... Oh, of course, sir. Huh? Oh. Perfect. There you are. Uh, do, do take a seat, and we'll be sure to bring it to you, of course. Uh, uh, of course. Thank you, gentlemen. Enjoy your meal. You're performing admirably. Excellent work. Thank you, sir. Okay. Right. I think it's, what, one more tomato soup and one more yeah, bread? Yeah, shall we? That's everything. Let's go. Okay. I see you. The wheel's on its way. Oh, yes. Yes, gentlemen, yes. Please, please. Uh, do us a favor and serve yourselves as well and take a seat. Keep that in your... Please, please, please go get yourselves dinner. Join us at the table. Of course, ma'am. <clears throat> Do we have food for us? She's asked yes. for us to join. Okay. It's in the kitchen. Actually, we could probably take the vegetables too, so we have one there and we can take two more. Sure. Leave them the uh, meat, the citrus, uh, lemon fish. Yeah. So we'll be eating one of the vegetables too. These. Oops, sorry. Yes. Oops. Eat those. Don't worry. Okay. I'll bring up some more. Yeah, quick. Uh, I will. I'll put your plate down for you if you need me to. We'll uh, put your plate down too. Right. So much food. Hello? Uh. Who's down there? Who are you? Uh... Stop! Don't get any closer, who are you? Excuse me? Uh. Who are you, 
Stop. Who are you? <laughs> Is that thing? It's what? not speaking. Do you not see that behind the pillar? Do, do you not see that, Cedric? We are supposed to be having dinner. Why are you dallying? No, 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 no. Down one, please. Apologies, ma'am. Down one. That's not your son. As I was saying, we will find you. All of the gentlemen at this table, I am curious. Where are your wives? Did none of you bring any of them? <laughs> well, madam, I can tell you, if I had one, I would have brought her. But these two young men, I would expect that they are probably, uh, well, uh, 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 real dangers to the village and the uh, population of young women that must be down there. Mm, no, I'm unspoken for, apparently. Well, well. You mustn't let work get in the way of your lives. You will always need a good woman by your side. Darling, those Frederick had nothing until I came along to support him. Next time we have dinner, I expect to see all of you bring a fine lady with you to fill up all of these little empty seats. Why is it? Diggin, Diggin, please, thank you. It looks wonderful. Oh, it does. Uh, compliments, uh, uh, sirs. This is a fantastic preparation. You have done yourselves. Yes, quite. I've, I've smelled fair like this since that time. Uh, it, very fine places indeed. This is something special for me to enjoy. These tomatoes uh, that you made soup from, are they uh, from the village itself? <laughs> I see some people not eating, and I don't understand why. We're having a nice uh, meal. So. Meal people aren't eating. I was wondering if I should serve them as well. Bring them a plate. Oh, yes. I'm so sorry, yes, quite. Yes, yes, please. Excuse me. Oh. Then I'll oh, grab really a meal really. for them. No. I apologize if my custom is inappropriate, but do, do you, uh, well, do you trench the, uh, the soup with the bread here? Oh. <laughs> By all means, eat. Eat what you <laughs> wish to eat. Yes. Oh. Phil, Nathaniel, please. Hmm? Oh, Growing boys need their their food. Hmm. So... I am... Um, it's a quiet dinner table for a family dinner. Well, thank you for inviting us. Thank Always you. love the company. You are welcome. Good time. Cedric, was it? Uh, uh, you, uh, yes, sir. I've, I've heard a little bit about uh, uh, Harvest's uh, family. Uh, you have family in Blackburn. <laughs> um, no, sir. Uh, the closest thing I have to family would be the father. Oh, he oh well, the well's took care of me boy. after an infant. I, uh, uh, Having that kind of faith in the church is a good thing. And uh, having it well, proven out. Well, yes, of course, this, this faith, but there's also... He he took care of me after an incident with my parents, so he is both the father and a father figure for me. Ah, I see. Well, it uh, has to be a rare pleasure to be raised by one of the clergy. Uh, you must be 
uh, filled to the brim with uh, uh, yes, tidbits uh, about the uh, our guest will be traveling uh, back with you. Wisdom. I hope you understand. I did not want him traveling alone in the uh, business. Uh, has me kept here at the manor with our many, latest development. Many tales. A situation Get me through my doors. Silverware. We have talked about this. Adam, how are you finding the soup? Oh, I haven't touched it. <laughs> I'm so concerned. Yes, don't, don't let our natural uh, distract you from your meal. Oh, it's pleasant as always. A fine cook for such a small town. We are definitely blessed. To have a cook of this caliber and to have a, a, a medic, uh, doctor, sorry, sir, uh, available in your town, uh, the resources that Blackwell has to draw are fantastic. It seems like it seems like we could really, with a little bit of uh, little bit of administrative work, a little bit of uh, coordination, we could really turn things around. It certainly has the foundations for greater growth, I agree. Indeed. Now, though, if we are to keep things uh, uh, on the growth path, uh, like the lady suggested, we'll have to find these two wives and uh, get you some baby boys running around the village come spring. Uh, well, uh, I might be a little bit soon. My knowledge of such things is always but lacking. That does bring an interesting Ooh. question. When was the last child born into the village? I would have to check my records, actually. I'm very curious. Give me a moment. I could probably answer that question all at once. Come now. Always the sign of a healthy village that it is uh, filled with children. It shows there's plenty of food and things like that. I hope it tastes fine. <clears throat> Delicious. Yes, exquisite. How is that stew? It smelled fantastic. Uh, I can... This is just a put together of the uh, vegetable stew. We do have a, um, we have a beef stew with uh, red wine sauce topped with carrots and mushrooms. Alongside, we also have, um, two citrus steam cod, and, um, and on top of that, we have uh, a couple extra things for a surprise. This is impressive showing indeed, sir. Uh, a wine sauce. Ha! I would have never expected to find something like that so far out here in the country. I mean, well, he's we are quite lucky, that's for sure. I will appreciate the help that you wish to offer, sir. While it is um, probably nowhere near as involved as it has been with the Arburgo masters, um, the desires, needs, and considerations for the small folk in a frontier town can be quite uh, demanding. Yeah, yes, I would believe it. The, the type of complexity that comes with, uh, well, with tight resource management and uh, uh, the requirements of such a diverse population, let alone the fact that, that according to my uh, research, a significant portion of your uh, uh, well, day to day actually comes from forging and hunting. Is that correct? That is correct. Most of the um, goods brought into the town for them to uh, use as foodstuffs is all through their own hard work hunting, foraging, fishing, and of course, farming. Impressive stuff, it truly is, to be able to rely so well on hunters. They're commonly. And, and I mean no slight, but an untrustworthy folk in terms of uh, being able to predict what they can bring home. Well, 
Luckily, we're able to trust our hunters quite well. Yes, indeed. Well, and uh, if fortune grants uh, a good hunt, means that uh, well-trained hunters are always able to uh, to accommodate. Hopefully, uh, things will continue late into the fall. I know. That is well. Cool. Landry at uh, hunting in that area. Uh, hunters have to spend days afield to even bring back anything. Uh, but they're mostly supplementing uh, larger harvests and the like. Oh, their harvest is done this year. <clears throat> uh, Landry. We had a couple of our folks go and uh, assist them with their uh, harvest. Oh, well, that was charitable of you. Well, we like to extend good faith to our neighbors so we may uh, work well together. Unfortunately, it would seem that Landry wasn't doing very well. Um, their oh dear. harvest has suffered greatly this year. And there are whispers of the um, sickness raising its head there. Let's, uh, let's clean ourselves up so we can get ready for the next one for them. Well, the fever is here. Probably, probably the rumors. Excuses. But the point and is, uh, the people there were going out of their way to try and recover their harvest. No signs of any illness in See the kitchen. I found the book I was looking for. Ah, we are about to bring out. Yes, we're about to bring out the second course. We're talented, thank you. was right there. Is it... Okay, it wasn't just me then. Okay. We can't talk. We can't talk right, about it. Right, 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 right. Later, later. Come on, Cedric. We have things to do. Put out exactly. Just scoop it. It's not come out. No, it's not. Gadung. Let me do it then. It's doing the same to me. Perhaps we need to pray. Allow me, gentlemen. Maybe. <laughs> if you come in and you do it, you're gonna break the fucking ladle. Sorry, Did you leave the door open? No, I opened it. All right. So we'll bring out, we'll bring out the second court. All right. Right. Is a beef stew with a red wine sauce and carrots toned. All right. Then we'll follow behind with the salad because it comes with a salad, and then we'll bring a cheese or wheel out. And then we'll bring out these carrots as well as sides. They're steamed. Right. Where is the stew? The stew will be coming. <clears throat> Alright, what are we what are we carrying? Uh, this 
An excellent question. Did you actually literally make a deal with the devil? It's just, it's a child. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not though, is it? Shh, shut the fuck up, both of you. Don't talk about it. Okay, what are we taking? We need to be quick. What are we taking? Take the cheese out there. Take the carrots out there. There's only two in here. <laughs> fuck, there is only two. Fuck the carrots then. Just take the cheese. Is already a salad. Be able to make more bread, though. But I'm not a fucking baker. Take it out to the prep area. We're waiting for a god so I could do this too. called out as well. Present? <clears throat> uh, for some reason, the, the water in the water bucket's not working. Maybe it's the fish, and I can't, uh, I can't seem to get a meat stew out of it. All we, all we need is one. fish that's in there. You could uh, substitute it with milk. That tastes like shit. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Gotta use the ladle, mate. Gotta use the ladle. I did. Oh, it didn't work. He tried oh, it too. It's more like the fish was in there. Ah, fucking hell. Alright, all good. Alright, man. That's everything. Mmm, my knee feels. Everything. Um, are we taking this? Yes. That's the salad. I know your desire to continue this conversation after dinner. Finish your food yes. and show yourselves out. Before you leave, if you could do me a favor. Thank you, sir. Yes. Please make sure that the package that you delivered makes it to the kitchen. And at all. I grow tired. I will be resting. Good night, Miss Lady. Lady Black. <clears throat> we have a, um, these two red wine sauce topped with steamed carrots. It's, you have complimentary cottage cheese and a house salad you all can grab from. If, uh, Thank you. If you, of course, yeah. if you, if you may, we'll clean off the table.
could be wrong. But I thought Don't I saw somebody about anything. Before. Anything? Anything. Even things that aren't related to anything we've seen so far? Anything. At least not in my kitchen. Puffy. That's all I ask. Mm, Puffy had. Something like that, I suppose. Um, oh, but are there any young lovers or anything like that that we might be able to convince? Uh, I am unsure about that. Most of the clever ones, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I won't throw it out. I'll leave it in here. In case she decides to... Yeah. To know these things. Um, is there anything you've been holding back? No, I can't say anything that I have knowledge about that would need to be shared at this time. Of course. Well, I hope uh, that you come to trust me in, in the future and uh, that uh, uh, we can know that uh, sharing information about these things will only make us stronger together, right? Yes, how we get back in the cold winters. That is the hope. Well. Gentlemen, I have to say the meal's exquisite, but it's late. Uh, and well, I'd intended to actually follow you back this evening. Are oh, the roads yes. uh, safe enough to go? Well, they will be safe with us with you, sir. There are animals, of course, but they tend to stay away from lights and voices. I'd heard that there were reports of uh, wolves or something like that in the area. Uh, I'd never heard of them coming close to civilized lands. They usually don't come close to civilized lands, no, but the roads back and forth are another thing. Hmm, well, strong torchlight should keep them far from our path, I would think. Any refill on drinks? Oh, no, no, if we're going to make that trek back, not for me, thank you. Well, if you will, we'll clean up. Yes, yes that anything. would be excellent. Fantastic, then. I, I look forward to enjoying your uh, food in the future. Say something about moving the package we brought to the kitchen. Are, are you yes. definitely kitchen? I, I was hoping she'd said something different, and I misheard. But if you would, go ahead and move it from me. All right, Cedric. Oh, 
Cedric. Sorry, that you were referring to me as Cedric. No. Unfortunately, I am Cedric. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, I have to move a body currently, so unfortunately. It's a package. Ready? Three, two, one. Just walk and I'll uh, keep up with you. Get it done and get it done quickly. Hi, Regent. Very difficult to walk backwards. Where do we put it? Oh, all right. Well, I guess that's the place to put it. Definitely not over here. Not where food is prepared. Oh, it got thrown away. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Job done. Uh, yep, I put it in the barrel. <laughs> Um, I think it would be best to begin closing the curtains before we left. <sighs> just I wouldn't want Mr. Blackwell to be upset about it in the morning. Sure, just the front front ones. What the fuck? <sighs> we will be escorting our guest back. Of course. Yes, Regent. with you. I told him to meet oh, us at the was... door with the others. Ah. Are you quite ready, sir? I've collected my effects. I'm ready when you are. Most excellent. We shall escort you back. Lantern, sir. You can come with us. Look, this evening. We should get going, Mr. Longback. Yes. Maybe next time. Time to depart. <coughs> no. Aye. Right behind you, gentlemen. Oh, we'll keep it at a brisk pace. 
confess, I'll do my best to uh, keep a stride to you. I must admit I'm not as uh, well used to road travel as I might have been in my youth. Mm -hmm. Especially in long walk. Well, the good news is it's all downhill, sir. <laughs> Indeed. It must be quite difficult to make your way back up here after a long day. The beauty of it is a bit rejuvenating, can't lie about that. Players, at this point, feel free to request on a phase dragon or waffle to get yourselves back to the main map. Heaven. And then once you decide to hop back in character, uh, you can teleport yourselves in front of the hunter's cabin. Yep. Side note, that, that record book, he took it with him. Got it. I gave a potato to the ghost fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally bread. made a deal with the devil. Potato for a fucking loaf of bread. So, so was I reading that wrong? Was everybody like I fucking each other? Yeah, everyone's like, "What the no, fuck is the this?" The entire time. <laughs> no, the okay. entire time. Cedric was. What the this fuck? Is gonna be a gr this is gonna be a great conversation. Oh, oh yeah, my you god! Can't, you can't wait to see it. It's fucking crazy. We heard everything. God. <laughs> I don't. I don't have. Phase. Oh, the just full head. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, Adam, he'll add you immediately. Uh, oh wait, Sprixa got me. Even if that's not the case? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to load the map again, because I didn't do it, and it's gonna take a while, because there's internet, so you guys go oh, no, he's up there! Oh my god. Shoot the fucking kid! Jesus, fuck, that was... creepy. Oh, gotta sit. Gotta sit. Oh. Oh. That fucking kid, man. Oh god, I'm tired, I'm hungry. How are you going, chat? My stream is delayed compared to everyone else? What do you mean? <clears throat> um, try refreshing if that's the case. We did have some drop frames back then. I never felt so uncomfy watching an RP before. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's worse in here, man. It's worse in here. It's gonna be something to drink over. Does Nathaniel drink? He does now. Um, has Nathaniel drink alcohol? I don't think he has yet. He doesn't swear. At least he's trying. I'm trying not to. And then I'm gonna walk all the fucking way back. It's like a 20 minute walk. Fuck, I forgot to time it. I was gonna time how long it took to get there, but I didn't see the time when we got there. Chat, you're gonna have to time how long it takes for me to get to, from the manor back to the town. <clears throat> I think I'm going to eat chicken Kiev for dinner.
Mm, nice garlicky chicken Kiev. Mm, yes. I mean, I just I just asked the question. If I'm still delayed, things are strange because the lag crashes. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. I think it's something with the map. It just yeah, it, my entire computer locks up. I can't even move my mouse or anything. I am sorry. I am trying to get a new PC, so maybe in the new year. Oh, I got raided? I got raided and I didn't even see? Thank you for the raid, OSL. How long ago was that? Oh, 46 minutes ago? Holy shit! <laughs> Him said from the Hunter's Lodge, no. Did he? I'm just gonna follow people when they get in here. Thank you all so for the raid. I hope you had fun today. Sorry I had to blow you off in character like that. There was so much happening. I was- oh fuck me. Today was so all over the place. I kept getting pulled into so many directions. I have anything. One try again. Where are we spawning from? Man, you're serpent. Haven, heads up. Don't know if this is of any. And then, um, before you go for the calling it early tonight, the moment we get back into town, Amelia's gonna. Well, I mean, I was supposed to have a talk with the regent, so that's probably what I'm going to end on, is giving him my information and then I'm going to bed. Sitting like oh, a my true shit. twink. You know, it's bad when Elias doesn't, or er, changes his face. Can we fucking do yeah, yeah, that? Can't take shit, can't take shit, can't take shit, can't take shit. Dude, like, inside, I was like, she said bring it to the kitchen. Oh god, am I going to be cooking here? <laughs> I did not kill my fucking gun. <laughs> you shot so cool. my fucking gun. Oh, they probably heard are that. We, are we all good? <laughs> uh, we're waiting on. I think we're good. Uh, Ringus. People in town oh, definitely heard that. Missing, like that. <laughs> I think Haven said that we could spawn back at the, uh, the Hunter's Lodge. Yeah, oh, did he? He did. Yes. Oh. We're just waiting for. Yeah. Okay. We're missing Mr. Bringus. He was. He was at spawn. Oh my god. So as soon as we have everybody, we just go Hunter's Lodge? This is that motherfucker. I Basically, can't. I yeah. Go there right now. I love that. Yeah, let's I go right that. now. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Why are you all in my house? Oh. Uh, bring us. Fucking do right. I have horrible phantom pain in my knee that I'm trying to deal with. So, are we going to talk about that? Did everyone see the same thing I did? The about gay tall. The only the thing in those eyes. Yeah. Black as shadow with white eyes. Yeah. It the was way, the way she talked to it. She knew it. She, she, knew, she, she knew it. She was comfortable. I'm almost certain that the Blackwells had a child. Pardon me. They did. It's tiny. The bells strike midnight, and we are now in soft end. We are now in soft end. Reaching as far as I am away. Head to bed. I'm listening. I had to talk to you all day. We need to step inside somewhere, whether it's my house or and yours. Everyone here just saw something lunacy. We're all on the same page. It ain't about that. I had to talk to you earlier. 
Okay. Wait here, I'll be right back. After you. Excuse me, uh, Brother Samelia. Where would, would you like me to put him up in uh, your manor, sir, for now? Yes, Mr. Faulkner and Mr. McCord. Please bring our guest to the Bailey. Give him a comfortable room. Give him a key. <clears throat> of course. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, sir. It, it was a pleasure having dinner with you, sir. sir. I look forward to us uh, working together. The pleasure was all mine. Hello. Mr. McCord, when you're both done, come find me. Sir. Shall we, sir? If you want, I can take that to Miss Baymont as well when we get back. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's... Let's get home. One step at a time. Yeah. But still, just an offer. Well, I'm gonna need it to come back out here and talk to the region, I suppose. So, I'll just hang on to it. That's fair. Planning more trips out in the evening. Well, if he's still out here talking, uh, I need to hug him. Yeah. Hmm. There's something of a. Well, I suppose primitive fortification is probably all they need. Uh, when they're the heaviest armed in the area. Well, that. Uh, Blackwell has no militia, as it were. Uh, merely the citizens. Hello? It, I imagine probably rely quite a bit. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Probably a rabbit or something. Of... Oh, the night's just getting to me. <clears throat> well, after a walk that long, it's not terribly surprising. Though I was pleasantly surprised at how uneventful it was. Ah, it's look at this beautiful this story. Um, I... I want to see if I can find Miss Baymont for personal reasons, if you could help him. Right, sure. Come on, Sorry. sir. Sorry. Of course. Oh, well, I, I can't help but mention, it seemed like you boys were a bit on edge at dinner, and I'm certain the lady herself noticed it. Is there something else that's been going on around the village here? It's, uh, uh, I'm been made privy of back at the manor. It's that sort of situation. I mean, you're with the most influential people in the towns, right? You don't want to make a mistake and upset anyone. I think that was probably it. Uh, well, I understand that, but you one thing you will need to learn is that. Uh, Sometimes, not acting is as severe a mistake as making the wrong move. I suppose. As a servant, I usually just try and, you know, stay out of eyesight and do what I need to do. So it's strange to be the person there, I suppose. A servant's mind needs to be honed to the needs of the person that they serve. You have to ah. anticipate. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, hello there, sir. Uh, we have not been acquainted. Well, yeah. Mm, I believe we have not, no. No. Oh, well, if you're not going to perform the introductions, Nathaniel, I'll introduce uh, myself. Sir, I'm Anders Torquell. The reason And I am... Well, I am Stuart Grayson, the uh, guild auditor from the capital city. Ah, Master Grace. Pleasure. Guild auditor visiting the city here as well, or town, I should say. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, only a fool. Yes, only a fool would confuse Blackwell for uh, a city. Even Landry uh, nearby doesn't uh, warrant that kind of uh, evidat. <laughs> but ah, so you How here are your... overseeing the guild operations? I understand. Assessing them, yes. Uh, indeed. Well. I would very much, sir, like to pick your brain at some point and understand how the guild might be able to better serve uh, the, uh... Well, the for one, village. they have a bit of a cash flow problem. Ah, indeed. Not uncommon. I would imagine that uh, paying for guild services here is uh, something of a stretch on the budget. Indeed. Ah, what kind of subsidy does uh, the region provide for guild services? 
That is something I am still sorting out. Interesting. Nathaniel, are you aware of any subsidy? See... Uh, I'm not too sure. That's not really my... Uh... As you can see, there's a lot of books to go through, and we've been pretty busy with a lot of things. Indeed, a lifetime books. worth of records. Um, as it stands, the two of you will be sharing the uh, bunk room down at the back. However, if either one of you would prefer a more private chamber, I can give up my own on the bottom floor there. Ah, the bunk room will be fine for me for the time being. Um, I might like to stay a uh, night at the inn, uh, tavern area there, to see how uh, folks are. But uh, for tonight, this will be perfect. Of course. Daniel, I appreciate it. Of course. Uh, shall I show you to it, or...? Well, Yes, that would be lovely. Um, uh, his Honor mentioned uh, also providing me with a set of keys. Yes. So that I may come and go as I please. You are, oh, sir. Me, I have taken the bed to the immediate left. Oh, yes, of course. And uh, these are keys to Can the... I swear I don't snore too much? The levee and the storeroom are there for you, sir, so you can get in and out of ah, this house and the storeroom. I'm sure you want to do a stock take. Um, Indeed. Uh, part of what we'll be performing here is uh, a deeper understanding of what we have available for stores. Of course. So what kind of uh, pressure we have to put on the apparatus in mm. order to... Uh, well, Stop the bleeding. Work out for everyone. Of course. Yes. Well. Well, uh, I won't keep you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, enjoy your stay. If you need anything, I'll be back later tonight. You guys know where my room is. If you need anything, just at any hour. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, I am very close to turning in, actually, myself. Whatever that thing was, it acted like a kid, it played around like a kid, it ran around and was shy like a kid, but it wasn't a kid. Then why? It, what I don't understand is it let all of us see that. It knows by now that we know it's not what it's trying to appear as. So why is it going along with this facade? It don't maybe care. it doesn't matter. Maybe it... Maybe it's not maybe just one. Maybe believes it. That's all that matters, right? It's teasing us. And the only person that has any idea what the hell that thing is, is that bitch out in the woods. She... And we have to wait on her time before we can speak to her. She's gonna fucking kill all of us. She's willing to meet with me at any given time. There's someone up there. I do. 
Use some data. It can touch physical things. Nothing. It dragged me away into the night last night. The um, I don't know. The the guest person asked me why everyone seemed so nervous when we were having dinner. Like he was. Uh, like he didn't. He didn't see it. See it. But she talked to it. Maybe he thinks she's going mad and it's just business to him. I I told him that. Um, everyone was just nervous to be around Lady Blackwell and, and everyone, but... <sighs> I don't know. Uh, Whatever's we... happening, it's... What? We should go to sleep. At least I should. Oh, we belong to right. We can talk about we'll this. Be safer later. inside. If we want to speak further, we can speak in my boat. I need to find Miss Baymond if she's still awake. I need to return that to her anyway. I've got a lot of questions to ask very specific people. And I think there's a couple of people in this town not telling the truth. Mr. Harcourt, one more thing. <clears throat> How can we be sure that the thing that was there was the same thing that dragged you off? We can't. We have no way of knowing. The only thing I can suggest... If no one else saw it while we were at the manor... Because it's been very active as of late. If no one else who has seen it before saw it while we were there, that means there's only one. I can ask around, see if anyone saw anything tonight. That's the right idea. We'll walk you to your tavern. Aye, if you need a meal, I know we've eaten plenty, but I'm sure we'll have leftovers. Aye. I'm hoping you're wrong. I can't think about that right now. I hope I'm wrong too. Will I actually fucking stay conscious this time? You don't stop for a minute there. You stop like five different fucking times in the same minute frame. Where are they going? I'm confused and uh What do you mean? I, I don't know how I feel about the thing. It acted like a boy. Minded me a lot. My daughter. I, I Whatever it is, Mr. Longbeck, it's mimicking things. Mimicking our weaknesses. And how do we trust me I know mimicking one of us? Holy shit, is that Jerome Whitelock? We don't. With you saying that, I'd like to bring one thing up. When Mr. Clive jumped in after Miss Kalen to try and save her, he almost died. Miss Kaylin was found upstream by the waterfall, cold but unharmed. <clears throat> I care about her. I think you know that. But something I, I feels did. so wrong. And I'm afraid What's to upstream? ask him. We've discovered behind the waterfall there's a cave that's sealed off. We plan on forcing our way into it tomorrow. 
We've seen the spirits or whatever it is go there and come back from there. We've got to find out what's going on. What if we unlock something awful? Something even that's worse. The thing. I think we already have. And that's why we need to figure this out. I will say one thing to you. Because I know you're around her more than I. When I confided in her, my fears. She turned around from the fireplace. Her eyes were white. Her pupils gone. Her voice off. When I turned away, I saw the shadowy figure of a woman. And when I looked back, she was back to normal. Acting like it was all in my head. I don't know what's going on. But you keep an eye on her. To keep her safe. Let's get you back home. I'm just doing one last patrol, as I usually do. Making sure everything's up tight. Greetings, Sir Regent. It's good to meet you, as well. Greetings. Indeed, uh, I won't keep you from your patrol, as well, and uh, I'll make my way to the tavern. Of course. So, uh, Sir, right. Your Honor, let me cut off you. Uh, don't let me stop you, sir, but I was it's given to understand the tavern. that... Well, uh, were there two murders that have occurred? I'm not sure what one of them were. Whatever it was, it was grisly. It was hard to tell. Indeed. Mr. Longbeck, would you be so kind to let me in for one drink? <laughs> I don't believe I can, but I can bring one out. Is he like like an animal attack, sir? Be quite fine. Is that <clears throat> something like that? So the merchant was killed by an animal. We think that the forester boy might have been. He was tore up something fierce. Body what? wasn't in one piece. Wait, merchant, vagabond, er, beggar. There was three murders? We do. I wouldn't call them murders without knowing if they were murders. Death. We do get quite a few animal attacks. I've been... <clears throat> ...bought up by a bear myself. So... Excuse me. Big it around. Anyone wish for a drink while I'm in there? I can bring it out. I'll take one. Oh, I'll be so kind. Bottom shelf, you know, how it is. Three, understood. You can pay him tomorrow. Wow. <sighs> Unfortunately, on the frontier, a town can be very dangerous. Well, yes. Um, uh, animal attacks and the like uh, definitely does sound uh, dangerous. And that and an influx of... Heretics, uh, as it were. Uh, it's no wonder that things are, uh, well, I wasn't going to say anything, uh, Your Honor, but it's no wonder your, uh, your men and you were a bit on edge at dinner with Lady Blackbird. <laughs> yes, well, but we're all difficult. eager to please the lady and give her results. There you are. Indeed, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Lumbeck. Pardon me, sir. Yes. Your drinks. I think there was a drink there. Hmm. 
Gentlemen, if you'll forgive I hope. me, I will finish. Go ahead. I was going to say, I hope you don't mind if I ask about business real quick before we all turn in for the night. Thank you. No, by all means. Go ahead. I've been trying to track down how the guild here stays afloat. And... Honestly, the numbers are not matching up. It seems that they go into the hole for two, three months, and then they <laughs> receive a large donation from some unnamed benefactor. That's news to me. Uh, I've also never heard someone use the word donation and guild in the same sentence. It is a surprise, to be sure. Are you sure you're not confusing uh, merely the source of their payment? Or is it we are talking not being about the your contracts? Yes, we are. Well, let me ask this. When was the last time you've done a job for 400 crowns? I don't think I've ever done a job for 400 crowns. The ledger says that they've been receiving payments for several hundred crowns every few months. Just so handily keeping them out of the hole. And I'm curious as to where that money might be coming from. Whether it be bad bad keeping bad book keeping, sorry. Or some sort of cash flow that I'm not aware of. Like well I can't say I'm too terribly involved in the guild's finances, but I'll look into it if you wish. I would like that, thank you. <laughs> I'd be happy to Give my assistance there as well, Your Honor. I uh, am uh, <laughs> a bit of a numbers man myself. Uh, you certainly come in handy, sir. Iron things out. Yes, well. That would be very, very handy. <sighs> Sorry to keep you. Of course. No if you'll forgive me, I must make my way back to the Bailey. I have some work to do before bed. Yes. Same here as well. Actually, I'm going to. Is it our. Uh, uh, the tavern person has left. Uh, I'm just going to. Before you go, uh, will I be able to have access to your archives in the night so I can County update the books? The have you Anyone? spoken to your representative? Be able to carry yes, I have. Indeed. And come along. Uh, good evening to you, gentlemen. Understood. I think I'm going to. Go here and enjoy the evening for a few moments. Good evening to you as well. You have a good first night in Blackwell. So, uh, might I ask, how was your trip up to the, uh, Miss Blackwell's manor? Quiet and pleasant, as usual. <coughs> good to hear. Good night, you all. I will meet you later, Clive. Right. Uh, I should not have ordered the light ale. I have a few bottles back at the Bailey, if you wish, of something a little stronger. Oh, that would be wondrous. Obviously, while you stay within the Bailey, if there's anything at all that you need, you just merely call upon uh, either Mr. Faulkner or Mr. McCord. I will do so. Thank you. I heard you, uh, had some amount of trouble this morning. Did, uh, that work itself out? Yes, thankfully. Everything's all right. That is very good to hear. I believe it was something that was just thrown out of proportion. That's all. Help yourself. 
The archives are here upstairs. You'll find them on the first shelf, uh, second, uh, second row. And Mr. Harcourt. Right. Yes, sir. I have noticed that there seems to be a bit of a dearth of cash flow in this village. Have you considered a caravan export to the next town over? You have a wealth of natural resources here. Are you speaking of uh, Roland's or of... Uh... Forgive me, the other one escapes my mind. I so believe the town's name was... I think the next nearest one was Landry, if I was not mistaken. Landry. Right, Landry. Yes, well... We had sent some of our people to help Landry, uh, ...accumulate their harvest. But... ...they didn't have a harvest. Landry didn't have anything at all. Par for the course. There are things to give. There are, however, quite a few natural resources. And the towns in your nearby vicinity are suffering from the fever. I have noticed that, at least on the maps, you have a very free, uh, fertile swamp in terms of that. That we do. I had already suggested to your uh, guild that perhaps it would be in their best interest to work with the apothecary and to harvest some of these um, resources to be sold on the market. That requires them to go out at night, however. Yes, and there is no business venture that is not without risk. Yes. You are correct. However, if this does prove lucrative enough, it may save at least the merchants or the the guild in this town, mercenaries uh, guild. That's one. Different him. Then I will tell them that they should go forward with it and make it happen. That would be mutually beneficial for both of us, I believe. I agreed. I would like to keep the guild here in town. Indeed, and I am not one who is very excited about the prospect of shutting down a branch. Well, let's make sure it does not come to pass. With some hard work, it should not. The, uh, for lack of a better term, the naval-looking guild member seems to almost be up on our dues compared to the rest of her compatriots, which is surprising, to be sure. Well, but I'm saying thought of something the others have not. Yes, tonight they went out on a bit of a merchant caravan, which is partly the reason why I am suggesting what I am. It seems to be the mass, uh, the main <clears throat> potential of income of this town. It's export. 